Okay, hi guys. Um, my name is Liberty. I know it's an extremely weird name, but yeah, it's mine. Um, I've been using GIMP for about a year and a half, and finally, I know a good amount of stuff on GIMP well enough for me to share my learning because I think that's the best way to become good at something is also sharing it with people. So I have GIMP on a Mac. I'm using a MacBook right now. But, you know, it's quite similar to a PC, so I think you'll still be able to follow it. And follow the video, sorry. Okay, so let's just open up GIMP here. Just wait for it to load. Now, on GIMP, on Mac, when you download it, you also get a file called X11. Now, this is a sort of a, kind of like a format con converter, I've heard. So, it, it helps with opening applications such as GIMP. It you don't really need to you don't really need to worry about about it. it doesn't take up too much space. Okay, so let's let's just I'm guessing you guys know about the brushes, but if you don't then my next video will be an extremely specific specific um specific tutorial on how each brush works and it's how to play around with the settings. Okay, so let's just make a new one, really random size. This is good enough. So this video is going to be about layers and extremely basic stuff in layers because there's not really much you need to learn about it um, other than suppose opacity, sizing, its purpose, its function. So this is what we're gonna this is what we're gonna talk about in the video. I'm gonna try and make it as short as I can because I know you guys don't really like waiting for videos to load etc. I definitely when I started didn't. So this is what we're going to learn about. We're going to learn about how to change the transparency, transparency, tra oh, sorry, transparency, um, the layer icon here, how to use this, merging down, duplicating, moving up and down, the function of a layer, why should we use it, why, well, why it's important, um, and how to delete, and the layer box. So it's, I know it sounds a lot like a lot, but some of these things which I just said only take like an, a, a sentence to explain. So firstly, if you're on a PC, then to open the layer box, you're gonna have to go Command L. But if you're on a Mac, you just have to go Control L. So let's open the box. So this is the layer layer option. This is where you control your layers. It's an extremely important part of GIMP, the layer part. Um, so as an example, I'll just start off by telling you guys why layers are important. Now suppose I have this little line here. I'm just doing something really random, okay? So I have this line here, and I made another line here, and another line, this little thing here. Okay, let's just say that's it. Now, as you can see, let's just suppose that... Okay, if I wait, let's do this. Now let's say that I want to erase this one over here, my which is about I think my fourth move on on the GIMP. Um, normally people would just go Command Z for PC, which is undo, or Control Z for Mac, which is also undo. But suppose I worked extremely hard on getting this line in straight. Well, it's not straight, but let's just put it straight. Um, I just worked extremely hard to getting this line straight but I need to erase this over here and normally I'd go to the eraser but let's just suppose that this here is over an extremely in an extremely specific picture so you can't just erase it or erase the image as well therefore there's no way for you to take this out so you're gonna have to delete your work here and you're gonna have to redo it so I'm gonna teach you how why layers are so important. So instead of having to having to go through the trouble of doing it again, you can just go. So you always have a background layer. Um, let's just say new line one. Let's say line one here. It's line one. Line two. Um, line. Three. Yeah, that's good. 
So suppose I don't like line 1, instead of having to undo and deleting my previous work, I actually just can just select line 1, hit delete, sorry, that was really dumb, hit the trash button here, and done. And if I want to undo that, just command Z, and, and suppose you want to, you know, make another one of those, you can just hit duplicate, and you have two. So you can just move this one here around. But Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to play around with the transparency. So let's just delete all this. But before that, I think it's appropriate for me to talk to you about merging down. So for merging down, you're just going to go line 1 and merge down. So now, line 1 is a part of the background. So you won't be able to edit it. So you should only really use this application if you're 100% sure that you in, you like your work. Because you won't be able to undo it. Merge down. Merge down. So now you have one big image. Just command Z all this. Delete this. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you guys about the transparency. So let's just open any random image. got Barney Stinson here. Okay, so we've got him here. Um, and, okay, let's just... You know what? I'm going to get a small picture. Sorry, guys. Okay, here. Um, we've opened this image here, and it's open as another layer. So, uh-oh. Because it's open as another layer, I can edit it. So, oh, for the mode, you can play with this quite a bit. You can just change around the, the settings for the image. It's quite a cool feature. So you can change the opacity from this over here. Like this. And if you choose the book cover, then it will not be affecting the, the background. But if you choose the background, then it will change the transparency of the background, but not affect the image. And if you want to change both, just merge them down and you can, they become one image. Yeah. Okay, I think that's just about it. If you guys have any questions, please comment, rate, or subscribe. Watch my next video on the brushes and GIMP. Thank you guys, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!